Good evening, Dad about Thailand. Walking my usual beaten track, quarter to seven, after work, chance to get out and get some fresh air, as is the rest of Pattaya by the look of it, along Dong Tan, down to John Tien. And I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know what's happening in Pattaya and what's the word on the street. So the breaking news earlier today from the Department of Disease Control was that the relaxation on restrictions could be lifted in Thailand, so areas like Bangkok, Pattaya, as soon as next week. And I've noticed a flattening of the curve in terms of COVID cases, which I guess we've directly got to put down to not the vaccination rollout, which continues to be sluggish to good, depending on what day it is, but the fact that people are just under curfew and continue in the main in areas like Bangkok and Chombri to work from home. Other news, again, COVID related, is that Farangs, yes, we're getting hit again with that stick from authorities, continue to break curfew and rules. And we saw earlier last week, the group in Soibakau that for some strange reason, thought that they weren't gonna get caught after nine o'clock sitting outside uh, in one of the normally busy areas having a beer. And in Koh Panyang as well, the younger group that continued to go on the beach. Oh my God, shock horror, sitting on the beach. In some ways it's a, it's a tough call by the government because they are trying to restrict movement for the good of uh, not spreading COVID, but we still need to get out. So where there are pockets of opportunity to go, so for example in Patia, it's along this promenade walk, I'm surrounded by more people than I would expect to see on a non-COVID night. Uh, I think that's probably the message. Ah, oh, something else I've noticed. So I've started having face-to-face -face meetings this week, as opposed to just the Zoom teleconference. Far more effective, as you, as you know. You know, Zoom is good, but you can't really guess, engage the person in the room with you, what they're really thinking. And I must say, every meeting I've been to this week feels more like I'm walking into a doctor's clinic with the partitions up between reception and even the guys I go to meet and the smell of disinfectant the cleansing of your hand, the temperature check. Is this really the new normal that we've got to look forward to? Because try as I might to be optimistic, I believe next year will be as challenging as ever. Certainly, no one's coming into this country this year. If you're thinking of coming to Thailand, it, it's just an impossibility if you're dealing with the facts. And I think that we'll be at 70% of the population vaccinated by April, May next year. And let's just hope there's no break in the further COVID strains that further compromise the movement of all of us across this world. Because there are times, as beautiful as this area is, I feel hugely claustrophobic by this autonomous rat, rat race wheel that I feel like I'm on every day as homogenous as the next, including the weekends actually. So that's it. Enjoy your evening wherever you are. Stay safe. Down about Thailand.